Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Kimberly and thank you so much for clicking this video. But in today's video, I want to talk to you guys about how I started my business when I was only 20 years old. So I've seen a lot of the boutique ones, like they're super interesting, like I love watching them. So I feel like it's good for me to tell you guys my story because I don't do boutique. I have my own cake business that I do at home, so it's like a little bit different. So I'm going to start with my background story. So I went to culinary school right after I graduated high school. I went to the Art Institute and I graduated with my associates in arts in baking and pastry. So if you guys do want to go to culinary school, you guys should really think about it because culinary school is really expensive. Like you guys should like search up like your local baking store because in my area they have like this baking store that they sell supplies and plus they do classes at nighttime. Like I know that the buttercream classes are twenty five dollars. They have fondant. They have like the raw icing cookies. They have a ton of baking classes, and it's so much cheaper. I would recommend you guys going to like a baking store to see if they host any classes. Cause culinary school is really, really, really expensive, guys. Like really expensive. Like right now, I owe so much money. So as soon as I graduated college, I already knew what I wanted to do. I already knew that in the future, I wanted to open my own little cake business. But of course, like you need to start somewhere. Like you need to start by doing it at home first. So once I got my diploma and everything, I started practicing at home. After that, I had one of my friends that he goes to school for graphic design and like he did my logo. I'm super surprised because I'm a very picky person and then I told him I wanted like these colors, I wanted pink, I wanted gold. And the first try, I fell in love with my logo. So after that, I did my logo. I went to Vista Print to get my business cards. My business cards are super, super, super simple. It just has the logo. It has like my phone number, my Instagram name, and my email. It's super simple because I want people to actually go on your Instagram and like look at my pictures. So I got my logo, my business cards, and then the stickers. You know how like when you go to a cupcake store, they put like the little stickers on the box. I got those. Those are really, really pricey, guys. So I would recommend you guys researching before you get your first pack because they're super expensive. So when I would give cupcakes to my job, I would make different flavors. I would do like Oreo, vanilla, chocolate, fruity pebbles, but velvet more. So I would think of all of these flavors because before you guys start doing your cakes, like you need to make sure that your stuff are moist, that they're good. If not, people, they don't want to order from you again. So you guys should always get feedback. So what I did was I would give them to my friends at work and be like, oh, like, can you try them? Like, let me know how's the icing. Let me know how's the cake. If it's moist, if it's dry, is it dense? And I got a lot of good feedback. And then after that, people noticed, oh yeah, like Kim's cakes are really good. Like I'm going to order for her next time. So that's how I started gaining a lot of cakes. And then later on, started getting cupcake orders from macy's fashion show because macy's has a lot of fashion shows like starting seasons like i think it's like summer they have one winter or maybe like polo has a fashion show or activewear i would bring my business cards i would make them cupcakes and then they'll have like a little um table where i put my business cards i, I will go to marshall's and buy these white plates and i will put my cupcakes on the table really really pretty and then i have my own little table where i would like advertise my cupcakes I gained so much clients is because of my mom like I'm so thankful for her because my mom had a lot of co-workers there and like I felt like every single day it was someone's birthday so last minute my mom would be like oh can you make a, a cake for, for this co-worker for this co-worker so there was a time where like for a week I had like five cake orders because of my mom's job which really, really helped me out so once I did my logo my stickers and my business cards I started researching on invoices. So I found this really, really good invoice design. I found a lady on Instagram that like she does like logos and invoices and invitations. She did a really, really good job and she charged me really cheap. She only charged me $10. Once you guys have all of your stuff, like your logo and stuff like that, you guys need to be really, really organized because since I work so much, I always have to make like a market list of stuff that I need, like butter, sugar, flour, eggs, you guys need to write down what you have in your house so you guys are probably wondering why i work so much so i have a full-time job and a part-time job those are my last jobs until i am self-employed like right now i'm not making enough money for like my cake business to pay all of my bills and everything my housing so i have these jobs to help me and 
until the day that I make enough money that I could afford myself to like pay all my bills then I'm gonna quit my jobs but jobs I work now I love them so much I know in the future when I have to let go of those jobs because I'm doing really well with my cake business it's gonna be really hard for me because I love my full-time job I work in a retail store and my second job I host cake and cupcake classes so I love showing kids how to make cakes and cupcakes I love it so much like I do what I love there and it goes by so fast I do not recommend you guys quit your job and then right away start your cake business you guys need to start somewhere like I think I've been doing I'm already 22 years old right now and I started this when I was 20 and right now I have like almost 430 followers and I'm trying to I'm trying to get to a thousand and it's super super hard guys like this takes a really long time because especially where I live okay so I live in Miami a lot of people do cakes so here I feel like everyone already knows like the cake person so you have to like try to gain your um clients like what i do is i'll do specials on easter like soon i'm gonna do specials on mother's day i know that i'll do like christmas specials like i try to do something every single holiday to get more clients since now the whole like quarantine thing and been making cakes for fun because i'm not working because i work in a retail store so obviously i can't work so i make cakes for fun every single day and then i give them to my friends so well, and then after my friends just post it on their instagram and they tag me and that's why i get so many followers and likes on my pictures so that's a good another good way to gain your clients is by telling your friends to advertise it and it's been helping a lot for me here in miami there is a lot of bakeries a lot of them especially there's like one bakery where they have like 10 locations like i know there's a maybe like four different bakeries that they have like so many locations in miami i don't know if i want to move up north because up north there is barely bakeries and there's not a lot of people who do cakes so for me i have to think what i want to do in the future sorry guys if i'm looking at like another direction it's because i'm not used to looking at the camera so what inspired me to have my own cake business is that when i was little i used to watch carlos bakery which just was like cake boss and i remember watching it with my mom i don't know like i i, I thought it was like so cool to make cakes i'm like oh my god like in the future like that's like an awesome job to do like it sounds like fun when i was a senior in high school i changed my major i always wanted to study film i love like taking pictures and i love like filming videos when i was like 11 years old i had my own little youtube channel i still have it up i have like videos that are eight years old and it's so embarrassing but i love editing videos and then i had another hobby which was making cakes when i was little i used to make cupcakes for fun like for christmas and stuff like that and thanksgiving so i noticed that i love baking and stuff like that so i'm like oh like let me try to see if i could do this as a major and then i went to a whole bunch of college stores and i went to an, I, think I, went, I think i went to two college stores and then the last college store was the school that i attended and i fell in love with the school i told my mom like i want to come here like I, I was so excited to start school if you guys do want to major in baking and pastry like go to college for it just to let you guys know all of your classes are not just like you do cakes like like you don't like i had to take beginners baking i had to take a chocolate class i had to take a bread class like we had european cakes and torts and then the last class which was like um cakes so when i went to college i'm not gonna lie i only did two cakes and like one fondant cake when you go to college for baking and pastry you you only learn like the basics of buttercream and fondant cakes that's why like sometimes it's not worth it to go to culinary school because you're not gonna learn everything like you're just gonna learn the basics on how to make the recipes and how to decorate like crumco and stuff like that so you guys are probably wondering how much money you need to start your cake business so all you need is like your cake supplies and ingredients to make your recipes and then your logo and your business cards and obviously some little supplies so the good thing about this is like once you buy the supplies you use them forever so i made a list here of stuff that like you need for it which i do want to make a video on all of the basic cake decorating tools that you need i will do that soon but for now all you need is like a turntable pastry bag tips obviously measuring cups and measuring little spoons you need um cake pans it's good to have every single size and um, a whisk 
a fondant smoother, a pizza roller to cut your fondant, a Ford's food colorings, and I think that's it. So I think the hardest thing for this whole cake business is to price your cakes. So when I first started making cakes my first year, I would underprice my cakes. I lost so much money. So before you guys do your business, make sure you sit down, make sure you go online and make sure you see like different prices on bakeries, on cupcake shops, like to see like how much people price like their cakes like i know fondant people start at seven dollars per serving i know with buttercream sometimes people start at 350 per serving or four dollars when i went to college it was mandatory for me to take like a purchasing class which means that i had to like um get like i have to like like an example like um let's say i'm making vanilla cupcakes i have to put the ingredients and i have to put the how many ounces i need in the recipe and then i had to cross out the total cost and that was like the hardest thing for me which is which gives you like how to price your cakes so i used to know how to do that when i was in school like two years ago but now i have to like try to get my memory to like know how to do it again but for now i've been like going on like different bakeries on different websites seeing like their their cake prices like like i know like six inches are 35 dollars eight inch or 45 like i've been going online and i've been doing a lot of research to see if like i'm pricing my cakes around the same prices as other people so there was a time where i took a break on my cakes where i took a six month break which guys i really really do not recommend it it's the worst decision ever so i took a break of my cakes because i was so busy and i lost all of my clients like the time while i was on break that was when everyone was asking me for a cake and I said no I'm not taking any orders so right when I started making cakes again which was this year like it's been kind of slow so that's that's like my biggest regret on like having a break like I would recommend you guys to keep going like don't stop because this is how you gain your clients because like if you stop like later on they'll be like oh yeah like she's probably not making any more cakes anymore so i covered everything in this video if you guys think i'm missing anything else you could comment down below any questions and i'll answer you guys right away and i will leave down below the link to my instagram for my baking and my personal one for you guys could go follow me and please like and please subscribe thank you for watching bye